Hi, I'm Rich Harris. Welcome to my kitchen and welcome back to my Back to Basics series for Video Jack. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to get the best out of cheap cuts of meat with my slow roast shoulder of lamb with root vegetables. The perfect winter warmer. Now this is a really simple dish, full of flavour, and one of those things that's going to really warm you up on a winter's day. So just finely slice these onions, and these are going to go with the rest of the veg to form the base for the lamb. And the idea is that the lamb sits on top and slowly cooks, all those beautiful juices from the lamb fall down and kind of base the vegetables as they cook. Cheaper cuts of meat, like this shoulder of lamb, really lend themselves well to, to wintry cooking. And this dish is perfect for this time of year because it's quite easy to prepare and then you just chuck it in the oven for a good sort of three, four hours, let it do its own thing. So if you're out for a nice sort of wintry walk, it's perfect. You come back, the house smells great. Absolutely delicious. So to the onions, I need to add the remaining veg. So I've got some lovely waxy potatoes. It's really important to use waxy potatoes when you're slow cooking because they hold their shape a lot better. And I'm gonna use a mandolin. It's a great bit of kitchen kit. Not very expensive, save you loads of time and effort. And as you'll see, can make your slicing really, really accurate. Just take a potato and run it down against the blade. Just be very, very careful with your fingers. You can get a nasty cut off one of these. I'm not taking the skin off the potato because there's loads of flavor in there. And as it slow cooks, it's gonna get really soft anyway. So they just go straight in with the onions. And just keep going till you've done all the potatoes. So next up's the carrots. And these add a really great sweetness to the dish. Again, on the mandolin, just run it through. The lovely thing about this dish is not only is it one pot cooking, but you can use any kind of root vegetables really. So things like parsnips work really well. But these earthy flavours of celeriac, potato and carrot are really, really good with the lamb. But for a full list of ingredients, just check out the description box. Everything all together in one bowl. And then it's time for the celeriac. This is a great root vegetable. It's really cheap, really versatile, and it's got a lovely kind of earthy flavour, which goes really, really well with cheaper cuts of meat and just lends itself to slow cooking brilliantly. So just take off this tough outer skin you don't want that in there. You want to be left with just that lovely white flesh at the end. Slice it in half, and in half again. So again, back on the mandolin, and just run thin slices along. Pop that in a bowl with the rest of the veg. And then some garlic, about eight cloves, which might seem like a lot, but because you're slow cooking, they're going to get really soft and really sweet, so they're not going to be overpowering at all. Now, I'm not chopping it. I'm just using the flat of a blade and just leaning down to squash the garlic. And next up, some rosemary. And what would lamb be without rosemary? It's, it's the perfect herb to go with it. Just take your stem of rosemary, hold it at the top, pull down, and then the leaves come off. Just finely chop the rosemary. Get a great little tip of this is take the rosemary, bunch it against the blade of the knife, and then run through. And that way you're gonna keep everything tighter and you're gonna get a much finer chop. And it just saves you time as well. And scoop it up and add to the vegetables. And just for a bit of richness, some melted butter. Just pour that over the top of the veg. Now you need a big casserole for this to go in. Ideally something really heavy based like this, cast iron that's flame proof so you can put it on the hob. If you don't have anything cast iron like this, you could use something ceramic, but you might have to skip the next stage where we're gonna heat it through on the hob. So tip all the veggies in. Good pinch of salt. And you need to be quite generous with the seasoning at this stage because those potatoes and celeriac are really gonna suck up the seasoning. And then plenty of black pepper. Now get your hands in. Give everything a really good mix together. Once you've given it a good mix, press it down just to form an even layer. And that's the bed that we're gonna nestle the lamb onto. And now for the star of the show. It's this whole shoulder of lamb. In my mind, this is the best cut of lamb. It's full of flavour, and it's the bit of the lamb that does the most work. So it's been really worked hard, so we need to cook it low and slow. Lay that on top. And lastly, add the liquid element. Now, it wouldn't be a slow cooked dish without a bit of booze, so just some dry white wine. Pour that over the top. This isn't a casserole, so we don't need loads and loads of liquid. It's more of a braise. And then I've got some lamb stock. This is lovely, fresh, homemade lamb stock. You could use chicken stock or beef stock, but use the best quality you can get. So once you've got everything in the pan, just season the top of the lamb. And then this is gonna go on the hob to heat up. 
Set the pan over a high heat. And this is just to give it a bit of a head start. It's gonna go in the oven for about three or four hours and cook really slowly so the lamb's almost falling off the bone. But you wanna give it a bit of a head start on the hob. So just bring it up to a simmer and go pop the lid on, it'll go in the oven. Now, if this has got you in the mood for refreshing your kitchen skills, click the subscribe button where you'll find plenty more of my back to basics recipes. Now this is gonna go into an oven about 140 degrees for about three or four hours. Just let it cook away really slowly. The lamb's had about four hours in the oven now. The kitchen smells incredible. So for the last half an hour of cooking, I just took the lid off. And what that's done is help to reduce all that liquid, make it really rich and condensed, and just crisp up the top of the lamb. So it just pulls apart the tongues. Beautiful. And then dig out some of those vegetables. Look at that, all these lovely layers. We've got the potato, See bits of carrot and celeriac, and all that garlic and rosemary. And because of all those juices in the lamb and the stock and the wine, there's a gravy already made. Just pour that over the top. And if there's any way of dealing with a cheaper cut of meat, this is it. Cook it low, cook it slow, and you're gonna have so much flavor at the end. So there it is. My slow roast lamb shoulder with root vegetables. Now to have a little taste. That's delicious. Why not click the subscribe button where you can find more of my great recipes and another brilliant slow cooked dish, my ox cheek ragu with herb gnocchi. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe and I look forward to seeing you back in my kitchen soon for another in my Back to Basics series.